Welcome to Live Balls Look Ahead. S&P 500 finishes up 27 points today, a little over 27 points today, uh, in a very whippy market, providing a lot of trading opportunities for those active traders. Danny, what'd you see? For sure, Kat, this market was bouncing around all day long as I was waiting to see if the stimulus package was going to be approved. But by the end of the close today, nothing as of yet. Some of those industries that are affected, like the airline industry, are really dependent on this. You want to touch on that? Absolutely. So I've got a chart up of uh, the large cap uh, airlines. Uh, taking a look at it, you can see over the past year, best performers, JetBlue and Southwest Airlines down only 30%. The rest of the gang down about 46 to 60%. So it's really been a rough ride. Interesting note, taking a look at the options trading activity in American Airlines, that short-term trading uh, options expiring on October 2nd. Uh, the at the monies 12 and a half and 13 strike calls just saw massive, massive volume today, possibly a uh, speculative play on uh, some stimulus money coming in. That's good stuff, Kev. You know, on top of the market waiting on a stimulus deal, we've got plenty of data to keep the markets on its toes the entire week. We've got jobless claims, ISM, Fed speakers Williams, Bowman and Harker talking, and then ending the week, we've got the unemployment report. So everybody stay safe and thanks for watching. I'm Danny Gisa. I'm Kevin Nichols. Check us out at liveout.com.